hello all. It is a glorious Saturday afternoon here on the flower farm. There's all sorts going on. The bees are swarming. The dahlias need planting out. The ranunculus are pretty much done and need digging up. Many, many seedlings to plant out. The buttercups are high in the meadow. The tomato plants need stringing up. There are orchids and daisies. The whole place is sort of still and hot. And you're very welcome if you're new to the channel. Please do subscribe, press the bell icon, and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks I give you along the way are useful, you can always buy me a coffee, or better still, join my club. The links for coffee buying and club joining are always in the blurb to all my clips. Right, on we go. Meanwhile, what am I doing? Well, other than obsessively checking on that swarm of bees, which is still there, by the way, I'm keeping out of the sun. Too hot for me and much too hot for my little seedlings for planting out. That can be tomorrow morning. Instead, I'm making a list. I've done this month's account for the end of May. Um, I'm going to order my tulips because the list has just opened up at Peter Nyson. Oh, yes, it has. And so I'm going to order tulips, narcissi, alliums, crocuses, all kinds of bulbs for the spring, not just for the beds, but for naturalising around the place. Um, so that's quite a long list. And, uh, and I've had a, quite a lot of book orders this week, so I need to pack them up. I have to say, I'm grateful for yesterday's slow day. I made my bulb order and I did lots of maths <laughs> and I've kept the budget tight after this year's experience with the ranunculus flowering later than the tulips. It's been a bit of a game changer for me so I'm going to spend less money on tulips. I'm going to have, obviously I'm going to have some tulips, but I'm not going to have a million tulips. I'm going to have 3,000 tulips, so that's plenty. And then I'm going to have my ranunculus flower for three weeks and I hope that will work better. Anyway, Sunday morning, Bank holiday weekend, feeling very American Gothic. I have sharpened my hoe very badly. I'm not going to show you how I sharpen my hoe because I don't really know what I'm doing, but it is sharper than it was before I started. And I'm going to go and prep the dahlia beds. It is the 28th of, I think, May. We generally plant our dahlias out the 1st of June. So while I feel as I'm behind, because as you can see by the way I'm dressed, it is lovely, lovely May weather. Actually, sometimes we still have a frost as late as the 28th of May. So <clears throat> my dahlias are quite happy, ready to be planted out. They are still tiny because we've had such a cool spring, but they've rooted nicely. And so I'm gonna get the bed ready and they'll be ready for planting out. We need to get, this week it's half term. So the kids are off school and so I've not got much in the way of teaching or um, and I've got two small events next weekend so it's not flat I try and keep the school holidays not too busy um, but that means also I can catch up a bit in the garden and after last week which was crazy uh, I'm glad to be able to slow down and catch up so do you remember that narcissi bed well come with me well, do you remember this bed? <laughs> After Christmas, this was up here with weeds, left over from the year before. I cleared it, I mulched it. Sorry, I have got very full on this trunch ball look, but I've just had a bath and the hair is annoying me. Um, so I cleared it and I mulched it. And the Narcissi were here, are here. They live underneath. So I'm now gonna clear it, mulch it, and I'm gonna plant the dahlias in rows between, I know where the Narcissi are, 
and in rows between the narcissi I'm going to plant the dahlias and actually use the space better than I have for years and my main tool is my hoe. See you later. So a couple of hours later I hoed off the worst and then I mowed it. <laughs> And so it's by no means perfect. This is very heavy handed gardening. I'm a flower farmer, not a gardener, okay? Um, so I've mown off the worst, hoed off the worst, mown up the bits, given it a bit of a crunch, and now I'm gonna mulch it. And tomorrow I'll be ready for planting, I hope. Uh, it may get too hot, I may stop. I don't like working when it's very hot outside. <laughs> so I'd rather start early and finish and it is Sunday and there is a chicken to roast and a family to feed and all of that anyway I reckon I can do another hour before I before I step out of the sun so that's two barrow loads you can imagine how much this space will take slowly slowly there's no rush to do anything just work through the day and you'll get there in the end Slowly, slowly, barrow load by barrow load. Right, eight, about eight more barrow loads, I should think. This area will take a, about a ton of compost. i loving the buttercups while I'm here. Right, that'll do for the moment. Time for lunch. Now, it's about half past three on the back holiday Monday, and I will admit I got distracted from the dahlias. I try and do one job at a time because then they get done, but sometimes when Fabrizio looks as though he's at a use loose end and I could grab him to do a job, grab him I do. So here we have the outdoor sweet pea netting, and top tip, you'll see it is jute netting which can sag so we've given it an extra we've sewn in an extra line of stronger string to keep it strong you're welcome and now because it really has been very hot and dry this weekend even though we've had some lovely weather lovely wet weather recently look how dry the grass is looking for the end of may so I'm giving them a water. And a hot tip for anybody who has been in the garden all day, eight or nine miles of schlepping back and forth and doing jobs, when it's six o'clock in the evening, but the light is still good and you don't want to stop, change your shoes. Because then you can carry on and on and keep going until the light goes and you really have to call it a day. And then the dahlias are all in. And I only have the squirty watering system on them to water them in. After they are well watered, it will be taken away and I will water them by hand. But because we have this lovely thick mulch, they should do really, really well. Happy days. It looks very weird with a squirty watery thing but it is a good way to really water them in it's been very very dry and once they've been really watered in they'll be watered maybe two or three times more and that's it for the summer so thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the clip and i'll see you very soon on we go